So hey guys, um, I'm just going to get straight back into uh, Donkey Kong Country. Um, we're going to be doing the third game this time. Um, I didn't see any point in uh, leaving this one for a while because it's the last in the original trilogy. So, And number two was quite popular so I thought we'd just get this one out of the way. Um, so let's, uh, let's enter our name here and we'll get on. With it. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to give a big shout out to what was the name again? One second. I love AL2010. Um, thank you very much for uh, subscribing recently. I'm sorry, I've only just noticed. Um, but yeah, we're now at 83 subscribers. We're getting that little bit closer to 100 now, which would be really really awesome to get to you remember the teacher from the second one well here she is again looks like she's retired and she's got an N64 sitting there with me what sit machine for you Okay, so there we go. We're at uh, zero percent right now, obviously. And uh, yeah, we got DK coins and banana birds to look out for in this one, I believe. So we'll start off going left here. No, we won't. No, we won't. We'll go to Funky's Rentals first. And he's our second Kong, Kitty Kong. Just imagine him as a uh, DK. Imagine a Donkey Kong game with uh, Dixie and Donkey. It's basically similar to what Kitty Kong is like. And um, in this time, we've got an explorable overworld um, with uh, vehicles and stuff that you can uh, pilot and secrets around so this is how you get the banana birds I believe it's a game of Simon start off really easy get harder to work out later on and uh, yeah wrinkly wrinkly likes the banana birds for company I can't remember what you get if you get all of them but we'll be going for that if possible so yeah here we go into our first world lake Orangutanga. And our first level is Lakeside Limbo, so let's get into it. And you can buddy up just like in the second game, only throwing Kitty is a lot harder than throwing Dixie. Obviously due to the weight difference. We got ourselves a banana straight off the bat, is there? and another one, uh, banana, a life balloon, two in a row. And we need this for a bonus of any description, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, we're going to go for 103%, which is uh, the full percentage you can get in this game. And here's our first bonus. We need uh, Kitty to break through that because he's heavy. Very similar to the original ones, uh, you've got a certain objective to meet in each one to get your... Uh... I can't remember what coin it is in this game. Yeah. Not too bad, we got it. Okay, they're bonus coins. They're just called bonus coins, I believe, in this game. And to get the DK coins, these guys hold them, and if you hit them with this, it'll just ricochet off. You need to hit them from behind so their shield can't touch it, like that. And there we go. So we're one DK coin down and one bonus room down. Let's see what's up here. Got ourselves uh, bizarre coins. I want to say they are. You use them in bizarre shops um, for certain things. I can't remember exactly what they are. Oh, I want to show you a mechanic in this game, if I can remember how to do it, where you roll off with. That wasn't how you do it. Kitty can skip across the water like a stone. 
How do I do it? Do I do this and then hold jump? I can't remember. Alright, I'll try this once more. Otherwise I'll have to look more into it. I thought that was it. Maybe you don't drop from such a distance. I can't remember. We got ourselves another bonus barrel here. We got anything over here? No. Oh yeah, two lives. Cool. Grab 15 bananas, not too bad, but these get a lot harder later on. So they disappear after a while, if you don't collect them fast enough. But obviously this being the first instance of this game is pretty simple. There we go. And our first animal buddy, Ellie. Ellie the elephant. She can suck things up with her trunk, including water. Um, which will come into play a lot later on. It's cool that they introduced them some new animal buddies though, to this one. We've got ourselves another bizarre coin, and I think there might also be something up here, so let's have a look. Not like that. Is that it? Okay. And there's no big secret with the, uh, there's no nothing to gain from the uh, goalposts, you can't get lives or anything from them. And yeah, weird that it doesn't show the uh, DK coin by the side of it, but I know we've got it. Oh, that's right, so it shows, shows the exclamation point down there for if you complete all the bonuses, and the yellow flag next to the blue flag there indicates the DK coin. I don't know why they did it, but it's something different, I suppose. Let's get on to our second level here. I don't remember Kitty Kong feeling this heavy. He feels a lot heavier than Donkey, actually, looking at it. we got to get through these doors before, uh, before they close. That's what them handles are for. But they're not too tough, to be honest. Don't want to fall down them doors. Not all of them, anyway, because they're just... Yeah, you walk over them, it's a trapdoor, basically. Let's get this way first. Because I got me a feeling that it's either just a bonus or a life, and I can't remember which one it is. We need uh, Dixie for this. There we go. Like that. And a life and a bonus. Nice. Nice and easy one again. Not too bad. Ah, there we go. I didn't realise, but this game definitely feels different from the second one, and the second one feels different from the first. They all feel a bit different, to be honest. So it, it does take a little bit of learning between each each game, like getting used to the controls and whatnot. Anything here? No. Okay, so we'll wait here. Now we'll jump over. Nothing over there. Don't want to go through there. And we need to go up here to get that door open. Like that. Nice and easy. That was stupid. I, I, don't, I wanted to see what was to the right because that was where the bananas weren't. I don't know if this is the way to go or not. I don't want to go the way to go because there's two ways. You know me, I like to explore first. And this is the uh, place that we want to go. Ah, oh. First F guys, second level. Not doing so well so far. But I've got a... Uh, I've got a need for these bonuses. You know me. Okay. And we got Dixie back. Alright, well at least we know which way to go this time. I don't know where that life was or how I found it just then. Okay. 
So yeah, turns out Kitty's hitbox is quite big. Find the coin, no problem. There we go, I don't think we need to pull these all the way down, I just think they're to climb. They are. Cool. Four bonuses down. No DK coin yet though. We'll find that. Wait, do I need to pull this down? Probably. Right, okay. Now let's go. There we go. Whoops. Timing on them barrels is uh, different as well. I don't think it's as strict. Pull that down. Wait for the B to go. And then climb. Hey, that was timed quite well. Quite happy with that. Jump over the B. What have we got going on here? Probably gonna miss something. Yep, yep, I miss loads. Alright guys. Unfortunately we're going back in. We got all the bonuses though. Alright, you just did his uh, no, we just fall and go to the left. There we go. And it's not Diddy, it's Dixie by the way, dumbass. <laughs> Throw this through the door. There we go. And we mustn't forget that there is a life banana here. There we go. Two more lives. Alright, that should be it. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got our first save point. Let's go and do it. There should be one banana bird flying around too. There he is on the left there. Left her own 64 on there. 5%, 9 minutes. Um, you, another thing to note is you might have noticed that I'm playing a different aspect ratio to what I, I was before. Uh, I'll go there in a second. No, I'll go there now. Um, last time I was playing it in 16 by 9 by mistake, and by the point I'd edited the video and noticed that I was playing it in 16 by 9 it was already on YouTube, so I just stuck to that. I'm playing this in its proper aspect ratio, and I don't know if it will look better on your end if you prefer it that way, so let me know in the comments if you prefer it this way, if not I'll revert. But yeah, first, first shop of the game. Was that it? Let me try again. Um, so yeah, these silver coins we're collecting, that's what this is for. It is. I thought we could buy stuff, maybe we can't buy anything from you yet. He's a shell collector though, so let's remember that for later. And we got ourselves a secret cave up here by the looks of it. There we go, got ourselves another banana bird. Another game with Simon. They're easy to begin with, but this, they do get harder, that's for sure. Let's move on to our third level. I'm going to try and do four levels apiece again, because that was suggested to me in the last game I played. Um, apologize. I apologise if the levels are a bit longer because of it, but that's um, this one's going to be a bit longer anyway, because it's uh, the first episode of the series, and... I've been talking a lot and showing things off and stuff, so nice and easy DK coins straight away. There, there we go. There's the water hopping that I was talking about. Did you see that? You can bounce off of it if you time it right. That's what I was trying to do. But I completely messed it up. I don't need that box anyway. And these clownfish, they're a new uh, enemy to the series. Uh, these guys are the similar to the guys with the chasing barrels we had in the second DKC. No different, just a different look to them. Same with the fish, really. Ooh, that's harsh. I'm just taking the hit, that was harsh. Wait. Should I have already had on guard? Surely not. I should have already had on guard, wow. That's how you get through there then. 
completely missed on guard. Hopefully we don't need him. You can do this without him though, so that's cool. <coughs> Can't believe I missed him. Should we go back and try and find him? I mean, there might be something we needed, so we're going... <sighs> we're definitely going back and finding him now, aren't we? Alright, I'll... Uh... I'll see you when we find him. I think I know where he is. Why didn't I go backwards? There he is, not hard to find at all. I've missed the O, but I'd rather an animal buddy to be honest. And seeing as we've already done that bonus, we'll skip right... Maybe we can't skip right past it. Okay, we'll do the bonus again quickly because uh, it won't take a second with on guard anyway. We failed it anyway because of that spike, but we already got it, so didn't seem like any point in doing it. And all we got for our uh, trouble was a bunch of bananas. Fantastic. Let's let's forget that ever happened, yeah. I'd I'd like that very much. Okay. Nothing too hard right now, even though we've already had two deaths. They were partly my fault for backtracking again, though. I never learn. What have we got up here? One of these banana, uh, one of these bloated birds, and it's got the N. Even though we missed the O. Ah, uh, we needed to make use of. Uh... Yeah, we're not getting back up there. Okay, we got to come back into the level again. We needed to make use of that um, water skipping that I showed you. We can't get back up on them platforms, so I've got no choice. We are pretty. Nah, I'm just gonna continue actually. Nah. Don't need the G because we haven't got the O. I was going to. Uh... Hey, we got a. Uh... We've got a crack here. I was going to uh, purposely die. No, come back. There we go. Oh, is that it? Looks like it. See, I was going to purposely die and come back into the level, but then it doesn't really save any time because I've got a start and select anyway. So, hey, we got we got um, everything except that one bonus, I believe. So, all right, let's not stuff this up this time. We've got the all the Kong letters as well. So yeah, this isn't as easy as it looks though. There we go. I'm pretty sure you have to hit jump the minute you touch the water. It's pretty tight. It's not... F Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Please say I get another chance. Oh, thank you, early levels. I got another chance. Right, let's try this again. Whoa, lag, hello. Look how easy that was and I managed to fail it. Right, what we'll do is we'll grab the G, as soon as we have the other letters, and then we'll... Start select out of here. G's just along here anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get our life. There we go. Hey, and we got everything. So, final level before we save again. Skidder's Row. Sounds delightful. Hey, it's a nice level. A snow level. I love these levels. Uh, gamer channel who's also playing uh, or was playing the original Donkey Kong until he finished it recently. I'm definitely going to uh, link the playlist to that because it was fun to watch. Um, he's not a fan of the snow levels it turns out and they're my favourite. So yeah, I'll throw uh, Gamer Channel's uh, YouTube. Actually no, I'll link the, the entire playlist in the... Uh, if he made a playlist that is in the description. Not the, yeah, in the description, and if not, I'll just link his profile. There we go, we're on to our first bonus, nice easy one. And there we go, nice and easy. See, I've al always been a fan of the uh, snow levels in these games, I don't know why, I just... 
mean they look awesome. The aesthetics is a, a big thing for me in games. Anyone that knows me especially knows that I'm not a fan of games without any colour, so like early PlayStation games and game, early Saturn games and things like that where they were just greys and browns, nah, it's not my thing. I think that's why uh, half the reason, or maybe not half, but a lot of the reason why I like the uh, retro games so much is because they're not afraid to throw in a bit of colour. Ice physics. Luckily, the enemies are plagued by it as well, but it can make them a bit harder to hit at times. Let's try this jump again. There we go. And we've already have we already got the DK in this one? I can't remember actually if we have or not. We've got ourselves a life as well. I'm not sure what this is for. It wouldn't just be to kill them, would it? I probably wasted that. Maybe I wasted it, I don't know. And we got Crocs back again. They're, uh, they look a little bit different this time though. I forgot what their uh, actual names are. Don't know if I got the DK coins, so we're gonna skedaddle out of here and check on the overworld. We did! Okay, cool. So yeah, that's four levels. We're gonna... Uh, two banana birds, four levels. So we're gonna head back over to here to Wrinkless Save Cave. Two banana birds there. Save your game. And saving's free in this game, so that's kind of nice. 10% already. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come back to this very soon, except for tomorrow will be Halloween night, so I'm going to stick to Zombies Ate My Neighbours just for that night, because it seems to fit. And I'll come straight back to this afterwards. So thank you very much for watching, if you've got any suggestions about what you'd like to see or anything that you think would improve my videos, let me know in the comments. And until next time, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.